what we're predicting is an El Nino in this winter coming up and possibly and one or more of the following winters, which when added to the greenhouse gases and the warming they provide will give, give us a very high chance of a record year. The ocean is a vast reservoir of heat. So most of the extra heat that goes into the climate system um, from the greenhouse, the greenhouse gases trapping heat goes into the ocean. And sometimes, and this is what happens in an El Nino, um, the temperatures warm up in the East Tropical Pacific and gives us a very warm temperatures that then are transmitted into the atmosphere and it generally warms up the globe. And this happens to be a very sensitive region as well in that there are connections to many other parts of the world and it affects rainfall and temperatures across the globe. From year to year, predict, um, publishing this report, we have seen a, a you know, steady increase in the probability. And so you can see as a canary in the cold mine, we're saying we're getting closer and closer to this one and a half degree limit. Everyone is going to be affected you know, by the changes that we are you know, re that we are having on our climate. That when we emit greenhouse gases, we're doing a big experiment and there's been flooding in, in many parts of the world. There's been droughts across the world. They're increasing in frequency, these extreme um, temperatures. We're seeing ex even extreme snowfall in regions because you know, although it needs to be cold to um, snow, it's, uh, there was also more um, areas which you know, previously were too cold to have much moisture in the air, and now they're seeing a lot of um, snow. And obviously, the, the converse to that is in the Arctic, where we're seeing an amplification of the warming, and sea ice is melting very fast. It's you know, changing the um, lives of people there. So the impacts go all the way from the poles to the tropics where, you know, where they are affected by tropical cyclones, which now bring in more precipitation and this rainfall, extra rainfall is causing mudslides. So it's not necessarily just the winds from the tropical cyclones. There's also impacts from secondary impacts you know, from mudslides and you know, all the extra water that's being thrown down in the tropical cyclone.